What's up everyone, this is Cybernad, and today I'm going to open up two of these uh, Target Yu-Gi-Oh packs where you get like three random packs in it and then a promo card. So yeah, I was able to find two of these at the local Target. Um, I, I think that's the only place where you really find these, so that's where I find them, of course. And anyway, unfortunately, this isn't as great as like that Mega Pack one that I found, because that's what I was looking for. But I did find these because you get basically like a special edition, because it looks like we have Invasion Vengeance, like three packs out of each of these. And then, of course, you get a uh, random cart. So, let's see what we get from these. I mean, they're actually pretty cool. If you can get Mega Packs with them, they are definitely worth it. I mean, I think it's like $8 each for these. And like I said, it's like a mini special edition, kind of. I mean, because you're kind of seeing what kind of promo you can get, but also you're getting three packs still, like one. So, what do we have? Hopefully get something good. I mean, I hadn't opened up anything with Asian Vengeance for a pretty good while. So, I was kind of hoping we get something awesome from that. There. Keep our, you know, our promo card a mystery for just a second. If I can. That's what's tough. I'm trying not to accidentally show the card before we get to it. I really like opening these. So I like random things like this just because you can get something amazing or, well, not so amazing too. Alright, so starting off for this one, we have... Uh, oh, man, a needle bur a bur yeah. <laughs> burrower. How about that? Okay, if I kind of just slow down, I can say it. Uh, but there we go. That is really cool. I haven't seen this card in forever. That's from Ancient Sanctuary, and it's a first edition super rare. Oh, man, that is awesome. And um, let's wait. Let's wait on the other one, okay? We'll, we'll do that, okay? But yeah, this is basically what you're getting. You get <laughs> your promo cards, and uh, there you go. So, <laughs> kind of like a thumbnail, basically, is what I'm going for on that. I'll probably use that. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just being real with you on it. <laughs> YouTube problems. Sometimes you got to come up with some kind of thumbnail. What do we have on this? Well, we've got a Paleozoic. Not bad. We are guaranteed a hollow, by the way. So we got Clive's End, and... Uh, Chris Dron Quain, or Quan, I guess technically I say that. Not bad. Super rare, one of the Chris Dron's always fine. Maybe eventually we will get a needle fiber, right? <laughs> Hopefully. We'll see. I'm still waiting for, for that to happen. I was really hoping that'd be in Flames of Destruction. Maybe Cybernet Horizon will finally have that for us. Uh, one of the Cardians. More Crystrons. Then, of course, uh, Polychemicritter uh, uh, Diox Ogre. And, oh, we got a Full Metal Foes. I thought so, because I saw it had an F, and it is a secret rare. Full Metal Foes Alka Heist. Oh, man, that is awesome. It's first edition, too. I didn't notice. These packs are first edition. Very nice. Oh, man. I can't believe we actually got that. That is amazing. One of my favorite archetypes, too. That might be my favorite, like, pendulum archetype is Metal Foes, just because they're so much fun. And uh, this card's awesome, anyway, because it's Full Metal Alchemist. It's basically, you can tell what they're doing with the name. So that is just amazing looking. I can't believe I actually got one of those. I've been saving a lot of these, too, because I picked up a bunch of them because they've been cheap for a while, ever since the Link Summoning rules. And uh, I just like the cards, so I actually have quite a few of them for that reason. So th another one for the collection, right? It's like Zark. <laughs> and uh, last one for our first uh, special edition, if we want to call it that. I feel like that's what they should just be called. That's basically what you're getting. Alright, what do we have here? Got one of the Cypherims, that's not bad. Cypher Twin Raptor, can't wait for the new uh, Photon cards, right? Let's see, we have uh, Super Heavy Samurai Soul Peacemaker for our rare, and do we have something? Oh, okay, we got a super rare, though, so that's fine. It is a Vola Chemic Critter Mythy Draco. So, yeah, I saw that it was an Xeem monster. I was thinking, did we get totally awesome, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that's fine. At least we're guaranteed a hollow, like I said. Dino Sewing, <laughs> that's kind of cool. And, yeah, I got a secret rare, so I can't complain. I just thought my heart stopped for things. So I was like, it could be totally awesome. Uh, not bad, though. All right, and our other promo card is... Um, oh, man, I haven't seen this in a while. Heartache Beast, uh, oh, how do you say this? Amos uh, Bina? Sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just absolutely just murdered that name. I know. Forgive me on that. But uh, still cool to get. I mean, that's hard to beat the, the other card, the one where it took me 20 minutes to say the name correctly. <laughs> but 
That's awesome. Okay. That's why I like these. I mean, you can get something really cool. And uh, see so we get from the other packs. We can still get something awesome from these. Get like a Starving Venom. That'd be cool. Also, I hope you guys are enjoying the, the videos. I've been putting out a lot of videos lately, so be sure to subscribe and also like this video. Helps out quite a bit. So please do that if you're enjoying yourself. All right, so first off, we have Prada Plant Flytrap, and we have, oh, the Rank Up Magic. Okay, the Phantom Knight's uh, Rank Up Magic launch. That's pretty cool. I seem to always get this card, too. So maybe we'll get uh, Dark Rebellion. That could happen. Second pack. Okay. I still want to get a Starving Venom. I know it's not tough to get nowadays anymore, but still awesome. You know, I never got one from its actual pack. I don't think out of all the openings I did. And also, I can't even get this card out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, first off, you gotta get the cards out of the pack, otherwise it's a little tough. More Crystron cards. Uh, we have uh, Space Dragster and uh, Crystron uh, Quan again. Not bad. Again, don't mind picking up some Crystron cards. I've actually been saving them up lately. Because they're pretty cool. And last pack. Okay, what can we end with? Can we end with something above a super rare? Okay, because I can't say in with the hollow, obviously. Uh, let's see. Maybe we get that uh, Starving Venom. Like I said, that'd still be cool. Or totally awesome. I still can't believe they named that card that, too. I'm never going to get over that. Uh, let's see. Kimmy Critters, Form Pal, Chris Well, We got Clive's End. And we have Spiral Resort. Actually, pretty good super rare, I guess, though. So, not bad. Not like a, you know, crazy expensive one or anything, but obviously a good card. So, there we go. At least we went with a good super rare. And, I mean, I got a secret rare. My day's been made, and even out of, like, the, the promo card or the extra holo that you get with these, getting a card from uh, Ancient Sanctuary as, like, a promo card or whatever, the extra holo, that is awesome. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, thank you guys for watching. Had some pretty good luck with these, and I'll see if I can get some more of these in the future, too, because these were the only two they had at Target. I'm hoping, though, we maybe we can get some Mega Packs again, because that one where you got three Mega Packs in it, that's always worth it. So seriously, if you have a Target near you and you see that, always get something like that because it's like $8 for those. And I hope maybe I can find uh, some of those again. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos and also ring that bell to not miss out on any videos as well. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.